heard in television game shows. The all-new Crosswhip. <laughs> Today's special guest star is the very funny Norm Crosby. Comedian Bill Kerbenbauer. Actress Wendy Shaw. And actor John Shuck. Today, one of our contestants can win one of these three fabulous cars and a vacation of a lifetime to Fiji on the all-new Crosswhip. Here to help us figure it all out is our host, David Ford. And a very warm welcome to you folks at home, as well as you nice people in the studio audience. Lovely to see you. we got great teams today, and I do mean great. We have Norm Crosby and Bill Kirkenbauer. We have Kathy, and we have Wendy Shaw, we have John Shuck, and we have Jody. And with that, let's hear all about the rules, please, Michelle. You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. Thank you, Michelle. And now let's see our first puzzle, please. It is a person, everybody, that we are looking for as the overall solution. And it's uh, you that won the flip backstage, Jody. so we're going to kick off with you and with Wendy. Go ahead and pick out a word. Okay, David, I'd like five across, please. This beetle did the concert for Bangladesh. Okay, Jody, <laughs> here we go. Harrison, George Harrison. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Pick yourself up a quick 40 points there, Jody. Okay, David, I'd like five down, please. A blank ain't nothing but a sandwich. John? A blank ain't nothing but a sandwich? Right. That's something I've always said. A blank ain't nothing but a sandwich. A ham, a, a half, a... I don't know. He's out of thought. Jody? <laughs> okay, that means that, Kathy, you are now in control of this wild and crazy ship, and Norm Crosby is the first person you're going to be working with. All right, I'd like five work. down again, please. A blank ain't nothing but a sandwich, Norm. Uh, golly. Uh, Hank. Kathy? Hero? Hero! <laughs> Thank you for bailing everybody out. Nicely done. Okay, let's try one down, please. All right. This president was famous for his trips, Bill. This president was favorite, uh... Carter. Uh, works for... He does Kathy? Ford? Yes. <laughs> I, I assume with our clever writers, that's a little play on words with the trips and all. Yes, that's oh, correct. Right. All right, let's try four down, please. Prophets of blank and gloom, Norm. Province? Prophets. Prophets. Of blank and gloom. Kathy. I don't know this one. The football goes back over to you, Jody. Let's try six across, please. All righty. Wendy, what's that little flat spot on the side of your face? The little flat on the side of my face? Well, you know, in the, oh, anybody's in face. the universal space. Uh, the temple. Temple. Okay, let's try three down, please. An L.A. football team, Mr. Shuck. Oh, yes. It used to be the Rams, but then they expanded their name to the, to the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct, yeah. Okay, let's try seven across, please. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that. What a good scout won't get in the woods. Will not get in the woods? Will not get in the woods, Wendy. What a good scout won't get in the woods. A match, a fire, a... Uh... A sign uh, will not get in the woods. Help. Uh, seeds. I don't know. Tried them all, but it wasn't there. Jody. Lost? Yes. <laughs> okay, kiddo, take a look up at the puzzle. You've got one left to do, two across, or you can go for the overall solution. It's a person, not necessarily a proper name. What do you want to do? <laughs> Let's go with four down, please. Alrighty. Yeah, you're right. There were two left undone. I'm sorry. Stick Profits, with it, David. It's Profits okay. of blank and gloom, John. Ah, yes. It's it's uh, uh, like like the teapot dome, only it's pronounced doom. 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 Yes. 
Jody, you remember the spiel that I just gave you? It's the same spiel. You got two across, or <laughs> this time I'm correct, however. Let's try two across. All righty. Noah might have said to his wife, Wendy, Hey, I built it, you... <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, I built it, you clean it. Uh, he was talking about their home away from home, an ark. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Jody, taking a look up at the puzzle, you notice that it is entirely filled in, and we are looking for a solution. Okay, I'd like to solve the puzzle. Is it Indiana Jones? Yes, it is. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, take a look up at the puzzle. Of course, Harrison Ford, Hero, Doom, Temple Lost, Raiders, and Ark all add up to Indiana Jones. And with that, we have to break away for a commercial message, noticing that it is 40 points for Kathy and 210 points for Jody. And we will be right back after this commercial. Some of our departing contestants will receive Blue Bonnet. Everything better with Blue Bonnet on it. Enjoy a delicious bowl of Hormel Chili. It's the number one selling chili in the country. Hormel Chili. It's the next best thing to homemade. The new paper made metal roller pen. Doesn't smudge or smear like the leading roller ball pen. The new paper made metal roller. Welcome back to our second game. Nice to see you again. All right, recapping the score, we have 40 points for Kathy, and Jody has 210 points. Kathy, we're going to kick off with you in just a second. First of all, we should make some nice introductions. Kathy Clark, you are soon to be Mrs. Wainwright, and we're very excited for you. You're going to step up to the altar. Thank you. Have fun while doing that. Thank you. And we want to also introduce Jody Nossinger, who's on vacation from Georgia. Got a brand new baby girl. And you're from a little town in... Wisconsin, Wisconsin. called Eshwabanon. Yes, we've all heard of that, and we love it up there in uh, the Cheese State. Welcome to the show, both of you, and continue Thank good you. luck. Now, of course, our show would not be complete without meeting two of our stars, at least, and it is my pleasure always to welcome a very good friend of mine, Norm Crosby. Norm, uh, uh, what do you want to talk about today, your grandchildren or your love life? Uh... No, no, no. I don't. I don't have any grandchildren. My kids are twelve and seventeen. I don't have any grandchildren uh, that I know about. <laughs> uh, but I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't have grandchildren. I don't have any love life. I can't talk about that either. Because really, my friends decided a long time ago not to talk about our sectional life because what was was. I mean, that's. <laughs> well, what's here is here, and you're here. And we're glad you are. <laughs> I understand, uh, Bill Kirkenbauer, that you recently worked out of the country. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I was down in Australia, you know, down there. And I was, uh, you know, they all talk like this down there. <laughs> but uh, I was a little bored, so I invented something while I was down there. This is, uh, it's called a boomerang hat. This is so that, so that when the wind blows your hat off, it automatically come back to you. <laughs> uh, of course, you know what they call a boomerang that doesn't work. A stick. <laughs> There's a patent pending on that, I'm sure. Welcome to the show, Bill. Nice Thank to you. see you. Thank you and now let's get going with game number two, please. <laughs> it's a thing that we are looking for as the overall solution. And Kathy, as we promised, we're going to kick off with you. And you've got some catching up to do. And you're going to go first with Bill Kirkenbach. Okay, David, I'd like two down, please. All righty. What kind of food will you get if you order one from column A and one from column B? Uh, lettered food, uh, <laughs> Chinese. Chinese, of course. Mm -hmm. Kathy? Okay, let's go for five across, please. Mr. Crosby, some husbands cannot wait until their mother-in-law blanks. Leaves. Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. Okay, one across, please. What whiskey is when it's on the rocks? Iced. Yes. <laughs> Hey, these guys are hot. Six across, please. A witch might stir it up for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. A witch might stir it up. Uh, stew. No? Brew. 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 I knew it ended in You got her on the right track. 
Okay, let's try three across, please. What beauty was a horse? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, it was, uh, it was obviously Black Beauty. Black Beauty. I read books. <laughs> An avid reader. We have 170 points for you now, Kathy, so you're catching up pretty well here. Okay, let's try three down. The heavy luggage on all-night carouser has to carry. The heavy luggage on all-night carouser has to carry. Could be bags? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> All right, you got 190 points to 210 for Jody, Kathy, and you now have the selection of either four across or going for the overall. I think puzzle. I'd like to solve the overall puzzle. It's a thing. Is it T? It is T. Right. It is T indeed. Take a look up at the puzzle. Four across was green, as in green tea, black tea, bags, leaves, brew, etc. All add up to T. So, recapping the score right now, Kathy, you have taken over the lead. You have 240 points. Jody, not far behind. You have 210 points, and we'll kick off with you, Jody, when we continue. We'll be right back after. <laughs> Contestants may receive the following. Kitchen Craft Cookware features exclusive multi-core five-ply construction, minimum moisture cooking, and gentle even heat distribution. Crafted of gleaming stainless steel, furnished by Kitchen Craft. A Gibson electric range with self-cleaning oven, black glass oven door, digital clock, minute timer, smokeless broiler pan, and grill. Furnished by Gibson. Lazy Boy's signature two-sleep sofa and wingback chair, offering a wide variety of fabrics that are suitable for any decor. You may enjoy elegance by day and comfort by night. Furnished by Lazy Boy. Welcome back to our third and our final game. Let's recap the score. We have 240 points for Kathy. Jody, 210 points, so you're only 30 points away. And anything can happen, as they say in the business. Before we get going with game number three, of course, we want to check in with Wendy Shaw and with John Shuck. Wendy, you were a series regular on Fantasy Island, and it's a living. Yes. Now, tell us what <laughs> you got going on. We hear some very good things are happening for you. I'm a movie star now. I've <laughs> I did um, two movies for Steven Spielberg this last summer, but that's all I can say. Why not tell us what they're about? <laughs> tell us the beginning, the middle, and oh, the end. I can't tell anything about him. I had to sign something. I, I can't say anything about Why is he so secretive? Is he paranoid or what? I can't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> We'll keep on trying, and maybe tomorrow we'll find out what the answer to these mysterious questions are. Anyway, thank you so much for blessing us with your presence on the show. Speaking of movie stars, Mr. Shuck. Yes, You have hi. Star Trek IV released, uh, what, back in, at Thanksgiving, I think. Isn't that correct? Right? And how is it feel? Are, are people coming up to you and mobbing you? They've on been the trying street? to carve me ever since. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you know, most people don't recognize me in the picture because we have that five hours worth of makeup. Right, right. Which really didn't change me very much, but I mean, <laughs> No, they really, they, they don't, and that plus the, the costume and everything. So those who know the voice will be able to find So actually, me. the only benefit you're getting out of being a big-time movie star is those gigantic checks. I get to be on this show. And you plus your own crossroads. <laughs> yes, and for that, we are very thankful. Okay, let's get going with game number, uh, game number three, please. And it is a thing that we are looking for as the overall solution. We have two minutes only. Jody, we're going to start off with you. Okay, let's go one down, please. All righty. A nap of only 20 winks might be called a short blank. John. A nap of only 20 winks might be called... What? A short blank. Sleep. Jody. Snooze? Snooze. Snooze. There we go. X L E E T L. <laughs> Let's go six across, please. Might tell you right now, it is a dead tie. 240 points apiece. Six across says this. Wendy, when is a housewife most likely to meet the milkman? Oh, the pressure's... Most likely to meet on delivery. Um, <laughs> in the morning. Yes. <laughs> you now have the lead. 270 points. Quickly. Three down, please. It's a universal language, John. Music. Yes. That's correct. Amore. I'd like to guess the puzzle, please. If you solve the puzzle, 
you're a, a clear winner. If you don't, it goes over to Kathy, and she guesses, then she wins, and you're going to gnash your teeth. So, with that, what is it we're looking for? Alarm clock? No, that is not what we're looking for. Quickly, Kathy, you can either do one of two things. You can continue by getting some points, or you can go for the overall solution. Less than 30 seconds. I'd like two down, please. You want a one? Two down. Two down, I'm sorry. All right, two down goes like this, and it's for Bill. What elevator button should you push when all the others are broken? Um, the, the, the one that yells, help. Uh, uh, Kathy, quickly. No. No idea. Okay, that means that we are back to Jody, and now we're out of time. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Jody, here it is. You've got the same dilemma before you. You can take a look up at the puzzle. You see snooze music morning. What is the overall solution? Radio? Kathy, take a look up there. What is the overall solution for the game, the victory, the entire match? A radio. Okay, I had to wait till the time to run out. Stars, anybody any idea? Let's say radio is half of it. What is the other half? Huh? Clock radio. Bill Kirkenbauer says clock radio. Clock radio is correct. Okay, well, that's the end of the game. Let's take a look up at our scores here. First of all, take a look at the puzzle. Snooze alarm, wake morning music, I guess, would be for sure an, an alarm clock or clock radio. 300 points for... Jody, 240 for Kathy. So, Jody, you're our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Kathy, we've got to say goodbye to you. We do have some nice party gifts, and we also have our profound thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. While we break away for a commercial message, Jody, I want you to be thinking about which star you're going to take into the crossfire round, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to our show, Jody. You're our winner. Congratulations. You have chosen John Chuck to go into the crossfire round. He's been there before, and he is a sharp, sharp guy. I know you guys are going to do very well. And should you win the crossfire round, Michelle, where are we going to send Jody? David, we'll fly you from Los Angeles to beautiful Fiji. A South Pacific green vacation for two as you fly to the Enchanted Island of Fiji. Enjoying the comfort and service of Continental Airlines Pacific Flight. And while there, you'll spend a week at the beautiful Hyatt Regency Hotel, enjoying the fun resort accommodations located on the Coral Coast at Coral Levu, just a few steps from the waters of the Blue Pacific. Thank you, Michelle. That was very nicely done. Jody, also, as you know, if you win the crossfire round, you're going to get a shot at one of three beautiful cars behind us, and Michelle will describe at least one of them. Yes, David, it could be the Chevrolet Sprint, featuring five-speed manual transmissions, sports stripes, and other features, furnished by Sock Chevrolet. And thank you so much. Let's play the crossfire round now, kids. We have 60 seconds, 10 words, and you are uh, ready to go, I assume. Good luck to both of you. Yell out a word for me. One across, please. A stamp collector. Two down, please. Narrow strip of land, like Panama. Isthmus. Yes. Four across, please. An Ebenezer Scrooge word. Five. Five. Yes. Five across. Mr. Harrison or Mr. Reed? Rex. Rex. Yes. Three down. To make better. Improve. Yes. Seven down. Committer of perjury. Liar. Yes. Nine across. A model of excellence. Ideal. Yes. Ten across. A lie detector. Um. Pat, six down. Wild and crazy, like the Marx Brothers. Zany. Yes. Eight across. A wide view or panorama. Vista. Yes. Ten across. A lie detector. Um. Pass. One across. A stamp collector. Bibliophile. Uh, yeah. A stamp collector is one across. Ten across. A lie detector. A lie detector. One across. A lie detector is if you take a, what test? Polygraph. Polygraph. Ah. I'm surprised you didn't get that. You got everything. Polygraph. The top I one, her movie. The top one I use in almost one. every one of my dinner conversations. <laughs> uh, a philatelist. <laughs> you, know, a philatelist. <laughs> you know that. A philatelist. Yes, yes. a stamp collector. Well, listen, Jody, I'm sorry we didn't give you the trip, but we are okay. not, as we always say on the show, sending you home empty-handed. And I do mean that. Michelle's got some real nice stuff for you. I sure do, Dave. We'll fly you and a guest from Los Angeles to Las Vegas for three days at the Union Plaza Hotel and Casino, where you may enjoy a luxury room, entertainment, and outstanding restaurants, all furnished by the Union Plaza. 
And the man in your life will go there in style, wearing a Fioravanti sophisticated men's apparel, a suit and a sport coat with elegant European styling, but made in America with meticulous attention to detail, furnished by Fioravanti. Plus this answering machine and phone, cut a phone's 3530 electronic bulletin board answering device, an 8410 feature phone with automatic dialing of up to 32 pre-programmed numbers. It's furnished by Codaphone. And his and hers watches, Hellbros Quartz watches, hers with 14 genuine diamonds, his with 22. Unusual textured dial design carried over to the one-piece case and bracelet, furnished by Hellbros. And thank you, Michelle. Read this label. It says Fiora Vanti in there. You know your husband's going to look so straight at that. Jody, and while you're in Vegas, say hello to Norm Crosby. Bye-bye, stars, everybody. Thanks for being on Crosswoods, and we'll see you next time. I'm David Sparks. Bye-bye.